Hi and welcome to Books Beauty Kendra. I'm Kendra and today I wanted to do a Christmassy, like classic Christmas look. Really neutral eyes with some red, or oh no, not some red, some green, maybe a red lip. We shall see how it turns out. So let's get started. Today's a late posting because I was with a friend today and her baby and oh, it's your cute baby. It's your cute baby. So I'm not lucky you are. <laughs> okay, let's get started. And yes, I know it's the start of summer and I'm wearing a cardigan, but festive, white, ha. Huh. Getting into the Christmassy spirit. Anyways. I'm going to start off with my best, with concealer. I'm just going in with the NARS. Why is it wet down here? The NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Light 2 Vanilla. Just looks like this, and I'm running out of it. Can you see how big that dip is? So I'm just going to quickly put this on, mainly just under my eyes, in a corner, out a corner, in a corner, out a corner, out my nose, on my chin chin chin. bit more and go right on the nose. Why do I look like Squidward now? Oh gosh. That's a fun time. I can't even do the Squidward voice. Yeah, no, I can't do the voice. At all. So have you. I can't even attempt it. Anyways. What's on for everyone's Christmas if you celebrate? If not, what's on for your happy holiday time? Do you do anything fun? I think we're going to just go down. Spend some time at the beach. Because like I said, it is summer. With two dogs. They love the beach. And we are nothing if not accommodating for the dogs. Right. That's all blended in. Next I'm going in with Fenty Beauty Ease Drops in shade 2. This is just like the skin tint from Fenty Beauty. Because it's hot. Not gonna lie, it can get pretty hot in Australia. So, yeah. Something light on my skin would be best. And just blend that in. Like, so, get some more. Cheek and the chin. And yes, it's very, it's not very light, it's just dark for some reason this time. It's barely past six and it's getting dark, and it's like I thought it was summer. I thought it was summer. But it's not. Not really. It doesn't know what it wants to be. It's Melbourne. Does anywhere else in the world like have those four season and one day kind of things on a regular basis or is it just Melbourne? Please let me know. Please. 
it is face done. I'm going to add in some bronzer with the makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Light. Very nearly out of this. I'm going to get it on my Fenty Beauty face brush and 125 face brush. And just get a generous amount of that. Not generous, but you know, you know. And peel, so not too much. But enough to show. Like that. And then I also like doing it on the bridge of my nose and just kind of across the cheeks a little. Just a little. Just a little. Okay. I am now going to prime my eyes and set it with powder and then I'll be back to come do the eyes with you. Okay. I'm a bit closer so we can do our eyes together. I've got two palettes for this. I've got Going Coconuts by Colourpop. This is just like a good I can open it. There we go. Neutral palette. So just use whatever neutral palette you have. And I also have the Trick or Treat palette from Odin's Eye and Angelica Nyquist. I think that's how you say her name. Basically just for green. Oh, that's a pretty green too. But mainly for this green. Or if you wanted to do the liner in red, you could do it in candy apples or vampire fangs instead. Really, it's up to you. I want to do green because I think I'm going to wear green this year for Christmas. Yeah. What are you going to wear? Do you have any idea? Or are you just like, see how it goes? Okay. I'm going to start with Lovely Bunch with a big fluffy brush. I'm going to kind of go up and up. We'll see how it goes from there. So just kind of like do 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 like that. Since it's such a light colour, lovely one is just like this. Try it this one. So it's like a light neutrally brown. Find that. I mean, for a deeper complexion, use a deeper. Brown, something a little bit deeper than your skin tone. Go across the crease and flick it out. And then do the same on the other eye. Yep. And then I want to join that to the lash line. So I'm going to get this dirty Morphe brush. It's like a flat brush with a point to it and just connect it basically from the tail of my eyebrow to the lash line. Get a bit more. kind of see it's making that winged effect now I'm gonna take a darker shade I'm gonna take cool lighter just like this slightly darker cooler brown I'm just going to follow that same shape so just the outside one 
Oh, this has a lot of fallout. <sighs> it's okay, we'll clean it up in a moment. That's better. Okay, then I'm gonna get my big fluffy brush and just clean away. Wow, that's come. And then let's go extra dark just along the lash line. So where's my little guy? Here's my little guy. So I just want like a short shader brush. In I don't want it too dark, so I don't want the darkest colour, but I want this one. Let's go get cracking. Did anyone else watch that show by the Kates? That was a good show. If you haven't watched it, get cracking. It's like a parody of a morning show. You should watch it. By Kate McLennan and Kate McCartney. It's an Australian show. This one. It's got shimmers in it, but that'll be okay. It's not a shimmery one. It's one of those sequins shades. Anyways. Stamping that along the lash line. Not bringing it up too high. Okay. And then we're just going to blend it out a little bit with the big fluffy brush again. more seamless she kind of looking like that and then this is my finger I'm going to go into Coco Rush which is this nice like medium toned, slightly light taupe brownie shade. It's beautiful, whatever it is. I'm just gonna go all over the lid with this, bring in that holiday sparkle. If you have any of those like glitter liners or like glittery toppers use that here as well on top of what you've just done because I think that would make it look absolutely stunning I think we're also a bit unbalanced so I'm going to put a little bit underneath again with that short shader brush I'm going to go into cool ladder and just Right tight against the lash line. Yeah. That's better. And while we have this palette out, I'm gonna get my tiny little brush. Where is it? There it is in the shade palm reader for an inner corner highlight it's a shimmery white just use either a shimmer because it's christmas it's the holidays and what screams holidays more than shimmer or just like a very light matte color like a white or a pastel pastel how do you say it And put a little bit under the brow bone in the brows apparently as well okay and that is just like the basic part of it done 
Then I'm going to get an eyebrow brush. This is just like a Morphe one with the spoolie that's come off. I'm going to go into the Trick or Treat palette now into Cauldron, which is this really dark, olivey, greeny colour. And I'm just going to get it on this brush. Take off excess on the sides. And then I'm going to do a wing with it. Now you can do this with shadow like I am. Which I think is the easiest option. But if you have like a green pencil liner. Or a gel liner. Or whatever liner. Use that. Because you are more talented than me. And I I just. Actually no I just like the. The eyeshadow liner more. I can do. I can do sometimes. The liquid liner. Not a gel liner though, no. No. Anyways. Shadow liner. Follow the same direction as your um eyeshadow that you just put down and then connect it up. about halfway and then copy it on the other side if you can Again, never mind the sounds of the domesticity going on behind me in other rooms, etc. That's just life going on. Does that look at least a little bit even? It's good enough. Do I want to add shimmer to the wing? Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. My Crypt Keeper is really calling my name. I'm not going to touch it. Okay. Let's see. Lashes, top and bottom, and brows, and I'll be back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Our lashes have been mascara Brows have been airbrowed. Now on to the blush. Now I know I'm not going with a red lip today. If you want to do a red lip, either do like a pinky blush or a peachy blush. I think that would look beautiful. But I'm going to go with more of a plummy blush. So I'm going to go into the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Mood Exposure. Which is this beautiful plum blush. And just pick up a bit of that and plop it on the cheeks. So it's nice and healthy. All the usual places for me. And then, because of course we have to have a sparkly highlight for Christmas. You have to. It's the rules. Anyways. Don't mind how dirty this is. This is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm How Many Carats Highlighter. It's a bit dirty. That's okay. We still love her. I'm just going to put that on the top of the cheekbones. Can you see? And then I like to put it like going right up to the eye too. I think it just looks really cool. And then a little bit above the brow. Brings a bit of winter to this hot summer. 
and a little bit on the cupid's bow. Now the red I had in mind if you're going to do like the classic red lip. Green eyes, red lip. Oh, it's a mood. I just scratched myself then. But I was thinking the Muse lipstick from V. Looks like this is a nice bright. Well, it's looking a lot brighter in camera than it is on person, but it's a bright red. It's very pretty. But that's not the mood I'm in. I want a nice plummy colour. So this, this is the colour I want. This is Velvet Sorcery. And it does have a, by um, Lisa Eldridge. Eldridge? Yeah. It does have like a velvety texture to it. Which some of my friends were like, ah, oh, velvet. Yes. Yes. So, on it goes. And then that'll be the completed look. Really pretty colour. Really like unique as well and I love it. Anyways. This is what the look looks like. I really like it. I think it's nice and festive with the sparkles. I might do this for my friends giving. No friends giving my friends miss. So used to hearing people say Friendsgiving. It's not Friendsgiving now, it's Friendsmas. But yeah, I think it's quite cute. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider commenting, liking, subscribing, all that jazz. And if you've made it this far into the video, please comment if you'll be recreating this look. Or what your favourite Christmas or holiday tradition is. Yeah. Hey, hope you're having a nice day. Bye-bye.